quick introduction to the developer portal. As you first access the site, you'll be logged on anonymously. From there, you can view issues that have been reported, um, search and track, but of course you cannot uh, post. To do that, you need to register. Simply click on the register button on the top right and complete the form that's uh, presented. You'll receive an email notification, uh, which you must then activate to be able to log in. Having logged in, uh, your home page is still the same, but uh, you can then be able to post new issues as you require. Uh, simply enter the subject and a description. Please make this as uh, complete as possible. Uh, if you're reporting a bug, steps that are required to replicate the problem. Uh, you can attach files. If you're a pro package user, export your app and include that. Uh, even I more ideal is to create a video of what you're doing uh, and what you are seeing. Basically, just fill the information in, attach files as you require, and select. For the category, select the category that's most appropriate to the problem. Uh, we can always change this if necessary. But is it within the console you have a problem, the IDE, mobile building, when the app is running, uh, and widgets. Also useful to always include is details of the platforms that you see this on. Is it mobile? Is it native? Is it a web app? Uh, what version of Android or iOS, etc., etc. The more information, the better. You also have the ability to uh, make this a private post that is only accessible then to you and to uh, our staff. Please use this sparingly. Uh, the more information that is publicly available, the better it will be for the community to see what's happening and what has also been reported. But of course, if it's an app that you don't wish to share for whatever reason, uh, or confidential information that is needed to run the app, um, you may use that as you require. In terms of issues that are reported, uh, your default view under issues is all those that are still open. You can change that to uh, various options, all or is not. Uh, and then, you know, is not, for example, gives you the options of what state it's in. You can also filter, very useful uh, as the tracker becomes busier, where you may want to look to see has anything been reported for uh, this widget, for example, and it would help if I could type, photo swipe, and then apply. Uh, in this case, you can see there is nothing, but it will help you filter to find your information. Overview, activity and roadmap also helps you see what's going on generally. But the main two areas that you'll be refer using will be issues and reporting a new issue. As you post an entry, you will receive an email notification. And as we update it, change information, you will also receive notification of that as well. Uh, we hope this will help, uh, help you see more of what's going on um, and uh, help us improve the product even further. Thank you.